Today we're going to look at the storm from the perspective of a third-party application developer, exploring not only how BlackBerry applications can automatically take advantage of some of the built-in features, but also examining some of the ways in which apps have to be extended in order to provide tighter support for the device. And we're going to do this by working with a very early version of Vigo storm-enabled release. In subsequent videos, we hope to update you on the ongoing evolution of our support for the platform as we add tighter storm integration, taking advantage of more of the SDK. Now, first of all, a couple of caveats. This is a pre-release version of the Storm, and it's a pre-release version of Vigo's Storm-enabled application. Now, one of the neat things about the Storm is the direct action that enables. And by direct action, I mean that there's no need to first scroll a click wheel or a trackball. You just point directly and click. Elections, US, national polls, and it's there. Let's look at another couple of examples. If I'm interested in getting a look at the weather for Toronto, I click Weather, Toronto, and there's the five-day forecast. Literally, with a couple more clicks, I can go to Flights, and I can check the status of my upcoming flights. This sort of direct action, I think, really improves the user experience of uh, the device if applications are properly enabled to take uh, it into account. Now. The storm screen actually allows for the display of a rather large amount of data. So for example, if I go here into my news and RSS folder, these are all the sources of news that I currently subscribe to. And I can very quickly, for example, click on Engadget and take a look at all of the articles from today. Clicking on an article takes me to the content of that article and I can scroll up and down and read the article very, very simply. Moving over to landscape mode allows me to see the pictures, for example, in a slightly larger format. Uh, and the text obviously displayed a little bit more left to right. Now, what's interesting about the storm, of course, is that there is no keyboard. So this raises the question of what to do with shortcut keys. And at Vigo, we decided to take advantage of gestures to replace some of the shortcuts that uh, are commonly used in our application. And an example of that would be the need to move from previous to next article very quickly without backing out and going back into the menu. And we do this with a left to right gesture so that's going to the previous article, previous article, previous article, and a right to left gesture to go to the next article, next article, next article. And these are the kinds of things that you really have to sort of think about as you're building applications on the device um, in order to deliver kind of an optimized user experience. Now, the orientation possibilities of the device also open up uh, some opportunities Take a look at sports, for example, and the English Premier League. I'll bring up the current standings for the EPL. Now, in portrait mode, I have four columns of numbers and a column of text, and it fits pretty well on the screen. But if I move it over to landscape mode, you'll notice I now have the ability, certainly, to display additional information. So one of the things that we've been thinking about is, do you look at the possibility of displaying conditional information, in this case, things like goals for and goals against, that are an interesting part of standings, but display only when the device is in a particular orientation? And I think those are the kinds of, um, kind of programming and design uh, ideas that are worth exploring as you are looking at building you know, storm-enabled applications. Now, one of the other things, of course, that is interesting about the Storm is the way in which the keyboard changes as you change orientation. So, for example, what I'm going to do now is add uh, weather for the city of Dubai. Now, the short type keyboard comes up in the portrait orientation. As I start to type Dubai, you'll notice that the short type keyboard is taking uh, its best guess at what I'm referring to, and that's fine for most common words. Um, it is more problematic, of course, for things like proper names that you only rarely use, or in my case, when my kids change the input language to Afrikaans. What's neat about the storm, though, is I can flip over to a different orientation, and I can get to the full QWERTY keyboard, and at that point, any time I'm typing sort of more esoteric information, I can very, very quickly um, backspace correct and uh, move on. So those are a couple of quick examples of um, how we are thinking about the uh, storm and about programming for the storm in particular here at Vigo. Um, the storm version of Vigo that you're looking at at this point in time is actually not available uh, to the general public at the moment, but it will be shortly. However, Vigo is available to um, a uh, full suite of BlackBerry and Windows Mobile uh, devices today. And if you're interested in learning more about Vigo, you can go to www.viigo.com on the web.